This is the installation of the Extreme Metal Products flip-up windshield for the Polaris Razor. It's made with one quarter inch hard-coated MR10 Lexan, which is very scratch resistant and is even DOT rated. You can see in these pictures everything is packaged very well, the hardware is very organized, and the windshield is wrapped and protected. There are great instructions that come with this windshield which really make the installation very simple. This video will not be very long since everything is so organized and easy to follow. Instead of showing you every single nut and bolt, I'm going to show you the process and steps. There are four basic steps to this install. Step one is to attach all the hardware to the upper and lower windshield. Step two is to align the quick connect clamps on the roll bars. Step three is to attach the upper and lower windshield to the roll bar. This is a great place for an extra set of hands. It can be a little tricky, but definitely doable by one person. The fourth and final step is to attach the gas struts and the handle hardware. And here's the bottom part of the windshield assembled. We've got the trim pieces pushed on the bottom. They fit nice, tight. It's going to make a good seal there. The hinge mounting bracket is applied here. The foam mounting strip goes in the center groove right here. It's 36 inch pre-cut. Very easy to install. Instead of showing you each step one at a time, I'm showing you the entire top of the windshield with most everything assembled. Um, the only thing we don't have on so far is the latch. The triangular mounting pieces, the ones with the ball joints, go in the lower end, the ball joint facing in. The upper ones face out, and that's where the side bracket mounts. You can see I've got the bolt running through here with the nylon washer in between, work as a hinge, work as a bearing, moves up and down freely. The opposite side, same thing, triangular bracket pointing out, triangular bracket pointing in, the ball joints on down here. On the front side of the windshield, we use the flat rectangle as backing washers so everything doesn't pull through and doesn't mar up the windshield at all. That's how the top part goes together. I'll show you the rest of it in just a minute. Okay, we're going to assemble the top and bottom of the windshield, lift it up, put the side brackets over top of the metal brackets here. The lower part of the windshield just lines up. Then you take your flange bolt and fender washer, just get it started in each side. The other side started. Now we'll take the top connect, assemble that. Slide it into place, get it lined up, start that bolt, don't tighten it up yet, do the same thing to the other side, and that's it. Next step is to take the gas shock absorbers, put those on, I'm going to put the first one up here, there's little plastic caps on them, you can use a flat blade screwdriver, just pry those off and hang on to them, you're going to need them again. This just presses into place, snaps right on. The lower one attaches the same way. Just raise your windshield up, get it to the place you want it, and just press it in place. Then you take your little caps that were on there, put those back in place, snap them in. That keeps it locked on so it doesn't pop off. Now it raises and lowers. Okay, put the handle on. Go ahead and remove the screws that are already attached to it. I've already removed the other one. Line them up to the holes in the top part of the windshield. Get that one started. Do the same thing for the other side. Okay. 
Go ahead and tighten them up. Then the latch just flips over. Squeeze these two tabs. Put those in that bracket. Pull it. And it's locked down in the closed position now. To open it, just raise it up. Push out. Still some flex here, but we're going to screw this down in just a few minutes. Okay. Okay, the last two steps are to take the small foam pieces here, peel the backing off of them, put them right underneath the fender washer. Just prevents any rattling. And then take the self-tapping bolt and everything's lined up. Go ahead and insert it here. That's it. Now the windshield should open and close easily. Latch it. That's the vented position. Close it and push it all the way back and it locks it closed. That's it.